to exchange some money, so we came to the bank of St. Helena, which is in the center of uh, Jamestown. And Jordi is waiting for the money. I decided to look around the bank. And as you can see, March is very busy here. I also want to show you once how a supermarket in Jamestown look like. So there is a lot of stuff you can buy here. Today there are some fresh vegetables as well, which weren't here the last day, so there must have been some delivery or a ship. And of course a lot of frozen stuff, lots of uh, ice cream, ice cakes, frozen cakes and more ice cream, and some uh, usual stuff as well. We noticed some of the stuff here is out of date. Uh, they do keep selling them, not to have them go to waste, which is quite sensible. And there's a lot of meat today as well. This isn't here every day either, but today there's a lot of pork meat. I'm not sure where it comes from, if it's made here or it comes from South Africa or somewhere. Today we are visiting the plantation house, but since we came too early, we decided to walk around and it's really beautiful. The scenery is very green. And look who we found here, a tortoise. We are inside plantation house now. This is the dining room, a place where Princess Elizabeth has been as well. Plantation house is the permanent residence of the governor of St. Helena. There are guided tours once or twice a week and they take you through the different rooms in the house. Mm -hmm. After dinner, all the ladies would come into this room mm -hmm. and they would have their normal chat. From 1630, 1673 to 1833. And this one is same thing. So it's notes and records, mm -hmm. and these are the letters, all handwritten. Wow. That was sent here from the 1600s. This is Jonathan. Jonathan is 191 years old. Jonathan is the oldest land animal alive at the moment. You can also find him on the back side of one of the coins at St. Helena. He was brought here in 1832 from Seychelles and he actually lived through 31 governors. Three 
other tortoises at Plantation House. They're obviously not as old as Jonathan, but they're still very nice to look at. We didn't meet the governor, but we became friends with the dog. Later on, we signed also in the visitor's book. And if you ever visit the plantation house, try to find our notes. After the house, we walked around the plantation and um, the lady who organized the tour, she advised us to visit the butcher's grave because it's one of the most interesting and scary parts of the plantation house. This area is reputed to be haunted and the graves are of two slaves who worked at the plantation house. One was a butcher, as you can see from the cleaver depicted on the grave, and the other one was his wife. And again, the rumor said that uh, she was killed by her husband. And there is this description next to the grave, and here it says there are different stories told about uh, that of the wife, Margaret, and it's not known if she was killed or not. So we continue our history tour. We are now at Longwood House. As you can see, there is a French flag here. This is the place where Napoleon spent the last years of his life in exile after he arrived on St. Helena in 1815. Napoleon was first exiled to Elba near Italy, but he managed to escape from there. As a result, the British looked for a more isolated place where he couldn't escape from, which was then St. Helena. The island was chosen because of its very remote location, which made it impossible for Napoleon to leave. The British also sent soldiers to Ascension Island, which is the nearest land as an extra measure, to make sure he didn't escape. He did not like his stay at Longwood House. He complained about damp floors and poor provisions. And in his time, he played cards, read and wrote books. These are the gardens of uh, Longwood House. You can visit the house inside as well, um, but you're not allowed to film, so we cannot show you that. We can only show you the outside. The gardens are very beautiful, however, and they are very well kept.
We finish our historical tour around St. Helena at the grave of Napoleon. He eventually passed away in 1821. He was buried here on the island, uh, however his remains were brought back to France in 1840, where they are still now in a crypt at Les Invalides in Paris. The area is called Seine Valley here, which was one of Napoleon's favorite places on the island because of its lush landscape. There was also a spring nearby. He wanted to be buried here and those wishes were respected. And as you can see, it's a very quiet and green area, so it's indeed quite peaceful. It's about one kilometer of walking till the grave and uh, well we are prepared for all kind of weather situations as the weather today is very variable as you've seen before. Sometimes it rains then it's sunny again. It started raining, so we are slowly heading back to the car. Now we are driving to another trail. Let's see how is the weather and whether we can make it today or no. And as you can see, the weather is not very pretty, so we are going back to the hotel. No luck with the trail today. And apparently it's getting worse, <laughs> so we are very lucky that we didn't uh, start with the trail. We would be completely wet and in mud by now. We are back at the Mantis Hotel and we're eating the best dish you can eat on the island. These are the St. Helena fish cakes and we absolutely love them. In the reception area of the Mantis Hotel you can find a scale model of the ship that used to bring passengers and cargo to the island. So this was a very important ship and a lifeline for the island. And this is how the reception area looks like. It's very classy. And I'll take you ones outside as well. As you can see, it's super quiet, which is one of the things we really love about St. Helena. It's so quiet. This is the end of our video and our busy day at St. Helena. Let us know what you think about the island in the comments. And please like and subscribe.